Mr. Kaling, you want to go to a movie? Annie, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I have a lot of work to do. Which reminds me, shouldn't you be looking for a job? I am. Are you hiring? <laughs> no. That's all the rejection I can take for one day. Hey, guys. What do you think of the new suit? Straight from the showrooms of Milan. It's very nice. Uh, just one question. Did you need a couple people to sit on you to button it? <laughs> hey, I picked up four of these suits for an unbelievable price. So all I gotta do is lose about ten pounds and I get the deal of a lifetime. Until then, the only way you're gonna get out of it is to use the jaws of life. <laughs> I don't think you quite understand. See, when you wear a suit like this, you're, you're making a statement. Yeah, you're saying I can't pick out clothes that fit without my mommy's help. <laughs> I'm going to the movie theater. Uh, just to see if they're hiring. <laughs> hey, Del, why are you doing this to yourself? Oh, Caroline, don't you get it? I haven't been able to afford clothes this night since I was working for my dad. And, I don't know, wearing the suit's like coming home. To a very small apartment? <laughs> You know, if it makes you feel good, that's what counts. Adele, uh, could you get me a, another blue marker from that basket down there? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what, I'll, uh, I'll call maintenance and pick one up for you. <laughs> Caroline, you're almost done moving that button. The meeting's in five minutes. You can either be on time or wear pants. You're not living right when those are your only two options. Hello? Yeah, just a sec. Richard, there's uh, Aunt Frida here to see you. Oh, great. I get to meet your Aunt Frida. Under no circumstances are you to allow that woman into the building. She's a terrorist. <laughs> okay, yeah, you have a nice day, too. Richard, what have I told you about having security detain your relatives? It's just not nice. <laughs> Neither is Frida. She's a manipulative, controlling, overbearing monster who only shows up when she wants something. I called you five times. I left my number every time, but you never called me back. That is a great story. Can she weave a tale? Thank you for sharing. Goodbye now. Um, uh, excuse me, Aunt Frida. Hi, I'm Caroline Duffy. I don't suppose Richard has told you about me, has he? He doesn't tell me anything. We haven't talked in five years. I could be dead for all he knows. <laughs> What's with the guy in his underwear? Sorry. Del Cassidy, Vice President of GMD Entertainment. Yeah, I'd love to stay in chat, but I got a real important meeting to get to. A lot of big decisions to be the same. I feel like I'm watching someone make sausage. I'll, uh, I'll zip these outside. Excuse me. So, Caroline, what do you do? Um... <laughs> I'd love to stay in chat, but I think I'm going to have to cut Dell out of his pants. Okay, Aunt Frida. What do you want? I'm moving to Palm Beach. And before I go, I'm tying up some loose ends. For instance, I still haven't given you your bar mitzvah gift. Please, can we not go through this again? Do you know why I've never given you your bar mitzvah gift? Uh, because I never got bar mitzvah? Because you never got bar mitzvah! <laughs> it's the same old message, Aunt Frida, only this time with a lot more spittle. Richard, I am not going to be in New York very much longer. Uh, you were the only child in our family who never went through with it. And you came this close. I can't tell you how many nights God asks me, what's Richard's problem? <laughs> so I lie to God. I say, one day he will, but right now he's too busy. He's on the professional bowling tour. <laughs> Frida, 20 years ago, the rabbi told me if I didn't go through with the ceremony, the consequence would be uh, life in a godless universe devoid of hope. Well, that sounded good to me then. It sounds good to me now. <laughs> Come on, let it go, Frida. I'll give you $5,000.
I think it's wonderful that you want to be bar mitzvah after all this time. How's this Saturday? This, this Saturday? No, that's, that, that's impossible. Well, why? Why? Come on, Rabbi, I went through Hebrew school. I mean, the only thing I didn't do is the ceremony. No, Richard, I understand that, but wh what's your hurry? Well, all right, to tell you the truth, look, it's, it's for my Aunt Frida, all right? It means a lot to her, and, uh, well, I want to do this before she goes. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I, I didn't realize it. She's not going to be with us much longer? No. No. I don't know, it's, uh... God, it is so sad, you know. I just... So, uh, what do you say? Are we on for Saturday? Richard, I really need your input on these new cards. Oh, you know what? Actually, I have got to run some errands. Uh, well, Richard, you know, they're really pressuring us to turn these in. Uh, well, you know what? If they're all as funny as that one on top, you are in business. That's the lunch menu. And it's hilarious. Oh, hi, guys. How's it going? Caroline's not interested in you. You're a ferret. Not anymore. I'm a sexy yet sensitive man ferret. Hello, Caroline. I just wanted you to know that I'm not afraid to cry. I can lift a bus with my chin. I moved this building for you. Oh, no. I was exaggerating about the bus. <laughs> Hey, Dell, another beautiful suit. Thanks. Snugger than the last one? What makes you say that? Well, for one thing, you're not breathing. I'm breathing. Occasionally. But it's worth it. The senior vice president of marketing said I look like a million bucks. Do you know what that means? <laughs> You know what, Dell? This is insane. I mean, get yourself a suit that fits. You're wearing a snappy-looking tourniquet. So even you admit, I look snappy. Ow! Oh. Ah. Okay, I got a plan. This isn't working. Oh, great. You're finally getting back to reality. No more eating. From now on, I drink nothing but water, eat nothing but ice. It worked for Gandhi. You know, he started out as a 46 Husky. <laughs> Hello, Frida? When those pants go, somebody's gonna get hurt. Oh, hi, Frida. Uh, um, you just missed Richard. I'm sorry. Oh, too bad. I was gonna buy him lunch. But you'll do. Oh, well, you know what? That's a very lovely offer, but I can't. I'm very busy. Well, that's why you should get a nice lunch in you. How are you gonna work with no energy? I'm sorry, I just can't. Come on, I got some juicy stories about Richard when he was little. I'll get my coat. Hooray, <laughs> Frida. Very, very good, Ethan. Now, the word you were looking for earlier is quesadim. Quesadilla is not Hebrew. <laughs> sorry, Rabbi. That's okay. Oh, I I'm sorry, I'll just wait outside. No, 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 Richard, this is the right place. Come, come in. But, Rabbi, I thought we were going to have a private tutorial. Well, since we're pressed for time as it is, I thought it would be easier for you to study with others. Especially since you're going to be sharing uh, the bar mitzvah this Saturday with uh, Ethan here. Sharing? I'm not sharing my bar mitzvah. Uh, take a seat, Richard, please. Ethan, sharing your bar mitzvah with Richard is a special honor. How old are you anyways? I'll be 14 this week. Uh, you see, 20 years ago, Ethan... Richard walked away from his bar mitzvah the day before the ceremony. Richard, would, would you care to share your, your special story? No, not really. Well, uh, we're uh, delighted to have you anyway. Listen, I'll go get you a study guide. I'll be right back. Boys, use the time wisely. Let's kick his ass. Wait, wait a minute. Well, what do I do? Saturday's supposed to be my big day, bloody. You're not crashing my party. Okay, look, I have no intention of interfering. <laughs> that 
That was a delicious dinner, Caroline. Thanks. You have any Tums? <laughs> so, you said up until the fourth grade, all the kids called Richard uh, Toilet Face? Correct. I got a pot on my nose. All right. Where's your ladies' room? Oh, it's right around the corner. So far. <laughs> While she's in the bathroom, would it be rude if I moved to another apartment? <laughs> Why? She's delightful. Plus, she promised me home movies of Richard running. <laughs> hey, toilet face. She's been here. You know what? Uh, she's in the bathroom. I tried to get rid of her in Central Park, but she anticipated my every move. What did you talk about? Bedwetting, pimples. The lunch lady was the only one who signed your yearbook. Okay. Come on, Frida. Time to go. Bus is leaving. Wedgies. Spider for a pet. Irrational fear of Pinocchio. Frida! I thought I heard your voice. Yeah, you were always a smart one in the family. Come on, here we go. Oh, so, tell me, what happened today at Hebrew school? Hebrew school? God, didn't Richie tell you he's getting bar mitzvah on Saturday? Come on, here we go. Pick him up, put him down. Well, wait a minute. You're getting bar mitzvah, Richard? Yeah, it's no big deal. It's just some unfinished business. Chop, chop for you. Richard, you're finally becoming a man. Now, don't be frightened. Your body will go through some changes. You might find hair in funny places. You'll have to give me the number of the guy who waxes your shoulders. Come on, Frida. Here, here we go. This is really a special occasion. I'd like to throw you a little party, Richard. Oh, hey, why not a big party? Let him splurge. He's getting $5,000 for this. Wait a minute. She's paying you $5,000 to get bar mitzvah? No, 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 no. She's just, she's delirious. She's been on her feet too long. Come on, I'm taking you home. <laughs> Looking for your $5,000? This doesn't concern you, okay? It's between me and my Aunt Frida. Richard, I can't believe you'd accept money from her for participating in a religious ceremony. Right. You think she can't afford it? Believe me, she has tons of money. That is not the point. It wouldn't matter if it was for $5. Well, to me, I wouldn't do it for five dollars. Richard, it's just wrong. Uh, why? I, Frida has done this kind of thing for years. My cousin Susan's husband got circumcised for a VCR. Well, you don't have to stoop to your cousin Susan's husband's level. You're better than that. <laughs> How do you know? Why do you always think that people have to be better than they are? Caroline, you know, some people are just low and we're not ashamed to admit it. Huh. Well, you know, that's very inspiring. You should embroider it on a pillow. <laughs> Look, nobody's getting hurt, okay? I zip into the temple, say the words, I get the money. Frida's happy. We go on with our lives. Well, you know what, Richard? You could probably go to hell for this. <laughs> There's no hell in Judaism. No hell? Where do your people go when they die? Miami. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful you're hired. Really? You don't want to hear anything else? I know hundreds of songs. Oh, fine. But for Richard's bar mitzvah party, I want you to play nothing but Lady of Spain. <laughs> for two hours. I'm not sure I can take that. So let me get this straight. To show Richard you disapprove of what he's doing, you're throwing him a giant party? Yeah, Richard wants to have a small, intimate ceremony, and I just think that's wrong. I think he should be forced to remember this day for the rest of his life. There is an evil side to you I'm finding very appealing. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Oh, what is that smell? It smells like whipped turnips and a puff pastry. Huh. Well, help yourself. Take it away, devil woman! I've been fasting for 48 hours. Nice suit. Thank you. I've eaten nothing but water crackers since Tuesday, and I have lost four pounds. <laughs> Last night when I took my pants off, I didn't have that big red mark around my stomach. Maybe they're stretching. <laughs> Two devil women! Why are you talking like a 1950s creature feature? I'm sorry, I'm a little lightheaded. I'm losing a lot of short-term memory. By the way, I've lost four pounds. <laughs> Did I mention I'm a little lightheaded? Annie, Annie, no, like Annie! You, did, you promise not to do that till after the party. Here's the guest of honor back! Hit it! Okay, what's going on here? We're throwing you a bar mitzvah.
principal party. Surprise! <laughs> okay, let's go. Caroline? Richard, I got you a new suit for your special day. Right on. I want you to stop. All right, fine. You want to look schlumpy at your bar mitzvah? Go ahead. You're not going to make me feel bad about this. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I just want to share in your special day. I'm throwing you a most wonderful party. I hope you like camel rides. You know what? Go ahead. Bring on the camels. Bring on the dancing hippos. I have six dollars in my checking account just once. I'd like to see you not reach for your purse when the check comes. Maybe take a cab instead of lying to you about how romantic I think the subway is. I want this money. Richard, I don't care about how much money you have. I do. Now that I know that Richard's doing it just because he's desperate for the money, I feel like I should help him, but I don't know how. I mean, I could, I could give him a raise, but he'd resent that. I, I could write him a check, but he'd never accept it. I'm just so confused. What do you think? You know, there's a polka that hits on this. Please, stop answering every question with a polka. Lady, what do you want from me? I came here for a party. Where's the party? I canceled it. Look, I'm sorry. I, I tried to leave a message on your answering machine, but there was a two-minute polka before the beep. That's the two-minute polka. Of course. You know what? You, you've been very kind listening to me. You can go now. I'll, I'll just write you a check. Look, lady, I don't know much, but speaking as a man who plays an instrument that has reviled the world over, I do know this. I don't like people to judge me, and I don't judge other people. You know what? That actually helps. Thank you. Maybe I should write a polka about it. Please, do it at home, okay? Hey, honey, I didn't know you were coming to this. Are you kidding me? Richard's singing in public? I'm taping it and using it for my doorbell. Ooh, is the seat taken? No, go ahead. Good, I'm feeling a little woozy. Ugh, I've hardly eaten in four days. Mm. Customer off the rack. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak Hebrew. <laughs> the suit. I've been a tailor for 35 years, and I've never seen a suit drape a man so well. It gives you a very distinguished look. Thank you. Can I lick your hair? Huh? Good Sabbath, everyone. Well, this is a very, very special day. Today, we are celebrating not one bar mitzvah, but two. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, the whole family. Listen, if you show me up, my dad's going to crack your ribs. <laughs> A bar mitzvah means that a Jewish child is old enough to perform mitzvot. What's that? It's for my blood pressure. Oh, it looks delicious. Can I have one? <laughs> Twenty years ago, Richard Korinsky passed on the opportunity to have this blessing bestowed upon him. And now today, he returns to us. A shining example of the undying presence of God in each of our lives. I would like to ask Richard to join me for the blessing over the wine. Please, Richard. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Malech HaOlam, It's You okay? No, actually, you know... I can't go through with this. Richard, what's the matter? Sorry, Rabbi. Look, I'm... I'm doing this for the wrong reasons, okay? Well, this is a little... surprising, but, uh... We're, uh, delighted to have you anyway. Well, uh... You... What are you doing here? I came here to tell you that I'm sorry, um... that I tried to make you feel guilty about all this. I... I don't think it's gonna be the problem you think it is. <laughs> I know. Never in the history of this religion has a man walked out of his bar mitzvah twice. There's talk of a plaque. I'm sorry, Frida, I couldn't go through with it. Well, I respect the fact that you took it seriously enough not to just take the money. It shows you placed importance on the ceremony. For that, I want to give you this. No, Aunt Frida, you, you don't have to give me the money, really. It's a pen and pencil set. You want the $5,000? 
get bar mitzvahed. Hi, Aunt Frida. She is moving to Florida, isn't she? Oh, if I have to carry her there on my back. You know, it takes a brave man to stand up in a house of God and tell the truth about himself. Okay, I admit it. I'm not a forty regular. Okay, the suit doesn't fit. Yeah, I'm tired of holding in my gut, and I am unbuttoning my pants now. Piece is for you. Thank you, Richard. Here's your piece. There you go. And Dell, the rest is all yours. Uh, you know what'd be great? Throw a couple scoops of ice cream on it. Stick it over by the pancakes. Oh, anyone else I could use? Uh, triple bypass. Great <laughs> fun. Put full round. More half and half. Come on. Go. <laughs> 